everybody, this is Julie with Beta Holique, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a really easy and elegant necklace using beautiful prestige crystals and some chain and some basic findings. So this is a great project if you are new to jewelry making because you can end up with a really pretty design that doesn't require a lot of work. So what we're going to be doing is connecting all these pieces together and making our own little crystal links, which will be fun. The tools you need is a pair of cutters, two pairs of chain nose pliers, so I've got two of them right here, and a round nose plier. I'm gonna clear my tools out so that we have a little bit more work surface. And I've pre-cut my chain, so I have two lengths that are six inches each. I have a 2.5 inch length of chain and two that are two inches. I have an 11.5 inch Majestic Pendant by Prestige, and it does come in other sizes too. You could also consider the larger size, which I have right here in this earring and this is a 16 millimeter. Then I also have these little olive beads. These two are prestige crystal, and they are five millimeters by four millimeters. I have a lobster clasp, and I have some six millimeter jump rings, which will go through my majestic pendant, and I have some head pins. Let's go ahead and build our necklace from the bottom up. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking these head pins. They're quite thin, they're 24 gauge, and I actually love using head pins as little lengths of wire because I often have them on hand. I don't then have to buy a spool of wire. So there's that little head. We're just going to put that right there with our pliers, our, our cutters, I should say, and clip. So now we have a nice straight little piece of wire. We're gonna go a little bit beyond halfway. So about like so. So you're not quite two thirds, but you're almost there. And we're gonna make a loop. So we're gonna go like this. And our wires do a lot of the work for us. I'm going to bend it over, rotate it, and we're going to crisscross. But what we're going to do before we start making our loop is we're going to pull it off. You see that little loop we have? And we're going to open it up a little bit. So to open it up, we just want a little gap, right, like that. So we're just prying it open ever so slightly. And we're going to put onto it our length of chain. That is, sorry, I have a little thing on this length of chain. I was doing a little project with earlier. I love to use my scraps. Okay, so I've got the 2.5 inch, in, inch length of chain. I'm gonna take that last chain link, put it down the wire and into the loop. And then I'm gonna take one of my two inch chain links and do the same thing. So I got two pieces of chain on there. Now I wanna make that a wrapped wire loop. Now that my chain is secure. So I'm gonna pinch that with my pliers. So pinching that with my pliers basically just close that loop. Now I'm gonna make a couple little wraps. And because this is 24 gauge, it's very easy to work with. So I've got a couple little wraps and I'm gonna trim my tail and pinch in the little end. And now I'm gonna take one of my olive beads and put it on there like so. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna start another wrapped wire loop. So right above that olive bead. Okay, I've got that in my plier. I'm gonna pinch it, make a little loop. Okay, and again, before I make my wraps, I wanna open that loop up and put on my chain. Okay, so at this point, what I really wanna do is I wanna see which is the longer chain. I have a 2.5 and a two. So we can see where the longer one is. I wanna take the end of that longer one, grab it, and I wanna slide that end, you'll see what I'm gonna be doing here in a few minutes, onto my wire like so, so it's on there, and I want that to settle down into that loop. Just like so. Okay, I'm gonna make sure my other chain is not tangled in here. Okay, so now I wanna take my other two inch length of chain and loop it onto my little loop. Okay, so this is what we have now. So we have a little like U shape, and then we've got two chains hanging. Now we're gonna finish our wrapping. Okay, so I'm pinching that loop closed again and I'm gonna wrap this wire. 
around a couple times. Okay. Then I'm going to go and trim it. And pinch that little end in. And the reason you pinch in your ends is one, it makes for nice neat wraps, but two, it won't scratch your skin when you wear it. All right, so this is what we have so far. So you see we've got that little link. Okay, so we've got the little link in the middle. We have two inches of chain coming out from either end, and we've got this little loop down in the base. So what we're going to do with that loop eventually at the very end is add our majestic pendant. But right now we need to make another couple links. So same process, we're going to trim off that topper. Okay, at about the two thirds mark, not quite. Pinch it. Start to wrap it. And I think to make life a little bit easier for me at this point, the one, the chain I'm going to link is one of my longer links. So again, just slide that chain in there. And this time we only need one chain. Pinch it closed. Do a couple little wraps. And this is wire, so just a couple wraps will suffice. It's not going to go anywhere. Pinch in your tail. Okay, now we're going to put another olive bead, like so. Go to the other side. Okay, do the same thing. Okay, let's open that up a little bit. And now we're going to take one of these guys, the ends of it, It's like going fishing. There we go. So it's now linked on there. Pinch it closed. Now do your wraps. Okay, after you've done it a couple times, trim your tail. Tuck it in. Okay. So you've got that now. So now you have a pretty little bead right there. We're going to do that on the other side as well. Okay, we did the long length first. Just keeps it from tangling, which I think helps. Okay, we did a couple wraps. Trimmed our tail, tucked it in, grab another olive bead. Okay, there you go. We're gonna repeat. Open it up. We're going to slip on this guy now. Pinch it closed and wrap. Okay, so let's see what we have. I'm going to move these guys aside. So there is what we have so far. And now we need to add our clasp before we add our focal pendant. So to add our clasp, you can do one of two things. And it's totally up to you. This is gonna be one half of your clasp, it's a jump ring, and your lobster clasp is gonna collect, connect to it. You can make another couple little wraps up towards your clasp and go ahead and then attach them that way. Or if you just are like, no, I really like the focal in the front, we can just attach the clasp using a jump ring on either side. So why don't we go ahead and do that. 
And to open your jump ring, you're just going to have your two pairs of chain nose pliers on either side. There's a little opening up top. Just rotate it. And we're going to put it through the end chain link, just like so. And then link on your lobster clasp. And then close it back up. And then we're just going to put one jump ring on the other side, and that's going to be what it's going to connect to. Okay, so we're just going to find this end link. Just like so. Close it on up. And then we can connect. Okay, so there you have your back clasp which will be nice and secure. And I like the big jump rings for that because it's easier to take on and off. And now let's do our focal. So to do our focal, what I really like, and this is why I chose the six millimeter jump rings too, was they easily go through the pendant. Okay, open that up, put on your pendant, and then before you close it, you want it to be facing the right way though. There's a flat tabletop to it, so which is really pretty. Okay, so we're just gonna link it through that chain. Now you can put it through a chain link or you can just let it dangle, up to you. I'm just gonna let it dangle and have it in that loop. But here we go, let's see what it looks like. There is your very easy and very elegant necklace using prestige crystals with the majestic pendant and the olive beads and some really pretty chains. If you like this video, please do watch our other ones and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys.